Good morning, December 8th, 2021. I am Molly Ann Kasdan with Miss Molly Knows doing your tarot therapy of the day. I had already halfway recorded this and it just didn't feel right. And I realized I had not centered myself before I started doing the reading. The whole reading was jumbled. I hated it. It didn't feel right. So I started all over again, reshuffled, starting fresh. Sometimes that happens, you know, sometimes something just doesn't feel right and it just didn't. And as I said, I had not focused before I started this. I kind of just jumped right into it and that was the result of sort of this haphazard reading. So let's start again. Spirits and ancient ancestors, guides and energies. Please give me a card today. We got a few cards it looks like. Okay, well, that's what spirit wants me to know. So obviously that the first reading was not correct. We actually got four cards. Hopefully I can keep this under three minutes. So we got the Ten of Wands, the Fool, Six of Cups, and Two of Swords. So the Ten of Wands tells me that we're at the end of um, something and starting something new. You're picking up the pieces and you're moving forward. Maybe begrudgingly, maybe you're not really wanting to do this, but it's time to push yourself through to the next thing that you're doing and to not give up. Because then we got the Fool card, which says that there's so many possibilities out there. And if you can just push yourself through this little tough spot, um, you've got a very good attitude that's going to settle in where you're like, I don't care what happens. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to look for adventure. I'm going to treat this as a journey instead of trying to control everything. All right. Because then we get the Six of Cups. Six of Club Cups is about harmony and flow. And you can see somebody down on his knees, maybe proposing or giving a gift of love to somebody. So I feel like Maybe there's a new relationship starting here for you and that maybe you've been a little hesitant, a little scared, not sure that you want to start over again, but there's somebody offering you love and you have a choice. You've got the two of swords. That means there's a choice about to happen and you're trying to make the choice from reason. That's what the blindfold is doing is just giving you only the facts. But the fact is that your gut's going to know what the right thing is to do. So then I'm going to pick from my vintage deck here and see what other information we might get. We got truth. As I said to you, you're going to have to make a decision probably about your love life. If you're watching this, it's probably resonating for you. And the truth is, you know what your heart really wants. You know what, what you feel inside and what's right for you, even if it feels like a bigger uh, challenge for you to get to that point with that person, um, you know what's right for you. Now, uh, from the moon phase card, we got step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so that also makes sense to me that you're, like I said, you're kind of pushing through a tough time for yourself. That means uh, don't do things the way you always have. Maybe try a little bit differently this time. I'm going to pull one more card and then we're going to wrap this up. We got uh, balanced spirituality and practicality. What I just say to you, uh, make sure that it's also coming from the heart, not just from the facts. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy hump day. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.